Scorpio. I'll now be breaking up the reading into two parts for singles and couples. And singles, you've already had your first card for that, which was the Knight of Wands. And we'll have a look and see what else comes up. Scorpio singles. Okay, there's something or someone you're maybe unsure about here, Scorpio. Page of Swords, you're looking back to the Judgment card. Um, you might be wondering if you made the right decision or right choice about a relationship or about a person. And for some reason, you're revisiting that and you keep thinking about it. Uh, I often associate regret or remorse with the Page of Swords. So some of you might be having increased regrets or uncertainty about a connection that you once had. Now, there might be someone that reaches out. Angels often associated with messages. And I feel with the death card representing the past, it might be the past coming back in. But for some reason, you're uncertain about if this is if you are single and there is someone resurfacing. Um, there is an element of excitement here with the Knight of Wands. And there's a very strong attraction, I think, that could exist between you and this person. And you're wondering if you were if you judged them right maybe the first time. Maybe you felt like you were too harsh on them. Maybe you felt like you weren't harsh enough or you weren't um, selective enough. But you're second guessing or sort of wondering about if you made the right decision. So that's swelling up around you here. Um, I don't think you'll let this other person know. I don't think it's something you're going to share these thoughts. I don't think you're going to share this with the person. You may speak to friends or family about it, but not necessarily them, I don't think. You're not necessarily going to be uh, communicating that uh, to this person here. So this is what makes me think, this is what makes me think there's something about revisiting um, the past somehow. Revisiting the past. Um, justice and judgment card are together. It could be around, um, there could be a separation here. So some of you that have separated or may legally be separated, like a divorce, for example, that might be coming up for you, Scorpio. Um, but both the page and the knight of wands look to the judgment card and we see open body language. But I feel like they all have something to add. The page has his sword, the knight has his wand and... I do feel like there is a situation where you might be overly, overly judgmental here. Now, it could be reversed. It could be someone who may be feeling like they've judged you too quickly and you may hear from this person again. Or the angel could communicate that someone may express, OK, I feel judged or I felt like that was too harsh. And I think that they're, they're coming from a very honest place, Scorpio. Vice versa, you could be communicating that to someone. And I think you are coming from an honest place because it may not necessarily sit well with you and you may feel like the opportunity has arised to make things right again. I don't know if this is even like an apology um, because it's almost like the angel Gabriel with the trumpet and we see this open body language here. Um, someone could be a little bit stubborn when apologizing or accepting apologies as well. You may come to notice that. And if that's the case, Scorpio, for example, if you're going to apologize to someone for doing something, it could indicate that the way they react to the apology isn't necessarily what you wanted. Vice versa, someone might come forward and say, okay, I judged too much or, you know, I judged you too quickly. I made assumptions too quickly, but I don't know, Scorpio, you're coming reversed. So you're coming up reversed. I think you're going to be hard to please or you're not going to be overly convinced with with their reasoning with their judgment with with the words that they're coming up the page of swords is is a, is a figure that lacks confidence the knight of wands is quite impulsive and doesn't think things through either very well so i don't know if it's something that you sort of need to sit with the four being a number of concreteness solidarity stubbornness yes but um, a time where we sort of need to sit with our thoughts or sit with whatever he whatever that's coming up here scorpio so i think it it very very much can be connected to um yeah i think it very much can be connected to the thought process either your thought process or the thought process of someone significant around you Could be an earth sign as well, but stubbornness comes to mind with the four. 
you could be connecting with someone okay you could be even connecting with multiple people it may be a parent um, but there's something about them that you're a little bit unsure about Scorpio you may need to give it time and not jump into things too quickly or maybe not judge too quickly may need to give it time and 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 really test your patience with this person uh, maybe that's what's needed here uh, between between the both of you uh, let's move on and have a look at couples though and see what comes up Scorpio couples Okay, strength card Leo energy is reversed next to you here, uh, Scorpio. Okay. There is maybe loss here around you. There's a sadness here. Five of cups, this is you as the cups. Um, but then you have the nine. So I'm wondering, very, very different energy, Scorpio, when it comes to couples in relationships. Um, now... The nine is higher than the five, so I'm wondering if you're going to lose something and then gain it back. I don't know if this is taking time apart from someone. The death card can be endings, um, although it is reversed here. So some of you might be ending a connection, but it's it's almost going to give you what you want somehow. This is a, a wish or a dream coming true, something that you had envisioned for yourself, and nine being the number of endings and moving on to the next cycle. Now, maybe it's not a breakup altogether, but there is a sadness here. Um, potentially a situation that doesn't go how you want it to. We do see three cups, so I don't know if this is someone involved in the connection somehow that may lead to the ending of a connection or a relationship for some of you. It also might be second chances, second or third chances coming up for some of you. There might be something here that has happened before. Either you've done something before or your person has, and it's it could be repeating that. The bridges here might be needing a, to build a bridge and, and move forward together, but you might not necessarily be feeling like you're in a position of strength in your relationship right now. You might not feel as if things are in the strongest. For example, you may not be feeling like you're as in love with your person. You may not be feeling like they, they please you enough. You may not be feeling like they're taking control and initiative. Um, because the infinity symbol is here with the strength card. Infinity symbol can mean repetitious things, repeated behavior, things repeating itself. But it is reversed. So something that is repeating itself is not making your relationship stronger. It could actually be genuinely upsetting you. So there may be something that happens here, Scorpio, that upsets you in your relationships or in your marriages. But King of Wands is usually quick to quick to act and remedy a situation, but in this case, he's he's reversed. He normally likes to take take action and tackle the issues, but in this case, he's not doing that. He's not he's not taking advantage. He's not trying to find solutions to a problem here, Scorpio. So you might be caught up in this bit of like repetitive, repetitive behavior, repetitive things in your relationship. And, and I sort of mentioned in the general read, needing to think logically about a situation or relationship, definitely needing to make that justice. You know, justice can be karma. And if this karma keeps circling back around to you, Scorpio, and you keep feeling this way, then you're sort of letting it happen. You're not taking the necessary action, even though the universe might be telling you to, um, to act on some sort of situation here. For others, I think the strength card reversed is potentially pointing to a good sign. Um, the maiden, it can be like a controlling kind of energy. Um, so it might be like someone is less controlling in a relationship. Although she's not, she doesn't have the, the lion on a leash, she's just sort of taming him. It is reversed, so I think it's it's this is control and her having like power and and um, she's sort of superior to the lion here. 
But then we see, when I see it reversed, I don't always think it's a negative thing or lack of strength. I mean, it can have a couple of meanings, but I think seeing that could indicate she's no longer trying to control someone or something, trying to put her ways, trying to domesticate the lion. She's sort of letting him roam wild and free. Um, and maybe this is an element of freedom even, uh, freedom that you've been wanting, maybe more independence in your connection or from your special person, having autonomy, um, having time away from them. But Nine of Cups is a wish card. So there is something here that can make you very happy, but there is also, also potentially something here that can make you very sad. Could it be secrets? Maybe. But the, the Nine of Cups are so well presented. Everything is there. It's all out in the open. It's where we see it. So there could be some sharing of very intimate past details, secrets, trauma between yourself and your person. So this would you this this would be you really strengthening a connection by sharing those very intimate things, Scorpio. So maybe you'll come a, um, come a long way, or the intimacy here will very much be created between you and your special person. I will leave it at that, uh, Scorpio. So I do hope that has been helpful. Please remember this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading, you know where to find me. 